Celebrity Secrets Revealed. Watch this video. Four celebrities talk a stories as terrifying as any horror movie. Before we can start the video, I'd like to encourage all of you to watch the video until the end and share your personal opinions in the comment section down below about the four celebrity stalker stories as terrifying as any horror movies are. This will help us create an amazing and vibrant community on YouTube. Number 1. The woman who tried to shave Hugh Jackman. Catherine Thurston was obsessed with Hugh Jackman. I want to marry him, she told people, though she never met him and Jackman already had a wife. But this did not bother Thurston, who insisted. It is not against the law to have two wives. There was only one person as far as Thurston was concerned. She didn't like his beard. Jackman looked better with a clean shaved face, she felt, and his instance on going around with the stubble on his face drove her mad. She waited for him outside his gym and followed him as he went in. When he noticed her, she was holding an electric razor in her hand. It was uh, filthy. Her own public hairs were still caught in the blades, and she had the deranged look on her face. We're going to get married, right? Thurston said. Then, without waiting for an answer, she attacked him with the razor, trying to cut the hairs off his face. Personal trainer managed to pull her off and kept her from hurting anyone until the police arrived. When they shoved up, Thurston was far from repentant. In her mind, her acts was perfectly reasonable. She done it, she told them, because I hated him having those whiskers. Number 2 the Uber driver who tried to kidnap Kevin Smith's daughter. Harley Quinn Smith, the then 16-year-old daughter of Kevin Smith, was waiting for an Uber outside a coffee shop when a jeep rolled up in front of her with an Uber sticker in the window. Two men were inside and they gruffly told her, get in. Something about the man fell off to the young girl, and she hesitated. She asked them who they were her to pick up, but the man wouldn't answer. Then she asked to see the Uber app on their phone, but they didn't have it. Just get in the car, one of them barked. As Mate hesitated, another car pulled up again with an Uber sign in the window, and the driver announced that he was here to pick up Harley Quinn Smith. The jeep took off and disappeared, and Smith quickly realized that they weren't Uber drivers at all. They were predators looking to kidnap Kevin Smith's daughter. Number 3. The man who taught Sandra Bullock what his wife. Sandra Bullock found the strange man in her home on the summer day in 2014. Had uh, he just nicked past her security system and made it in. Now he was pounding on her bedroom door and yelling at her. She didn't need to worry, he told her. He was her husband. His name was Joshua Corbett a schizophrenic man who had convinced himself that he was the secret father of Sandra Bullock's son. He had been writing her letters after letter telling her things like you are my wife by law, the law of God and belong to me. Others were more threatening, I've waited and waited and you never come. Corber wrote in one letter shortly before breaking into her home. Perhaps this is all supposed to happen some other ways. When the police came and dragged Corbett away, he thought it was all a misunderstanding. Sandra, I'm sorry, he called out to the actress, believing that it was a lover's path gone too far. Please, don't press charges. If Bullock hadn't called the police, though, 
things will have gone a lot worse. When the police looked into Colbert's things, they found a collection of 24 guns, including machine guns, assault rifles and homemade explosives. Colbert had planned on using them. In his home, they found a notebook detailing his original plan to break into Sandra Bullock's home and violently raped her. Number 4 The fan club president who killed Selena Yolanda Saldivar was president of the Selena fan club. She was obsessed with the 90s pop star and Saldivar had to turn her home into a shrine filled with photographs of Selena. Unlike most crazed graze, fans though, Salvidar actually got to know the objects of her obsession. Selena let Salvidar let her official fan club and even made her the manager of her clothing boutique, Selena etc. Salvidar was living a demented fan's dream. Selena knew her by name, trusted her and even considered her a friend. However, Salvidar has been embezzling money from Selena's boutique. When Selena found out, it meant that everything was going to fall to pieces. Selena confronted her at a Days Inn Hotel in Corpus Christ and told Salvidar that she was fired. Salvidar tried everything to keep Selena from leaving her. First, Salvidar pretended that she'd just been uh, raped in a desperate bid for sympathy. When the lie fell apart, Salvidar panicked, pulled a gun out of her bag and shot Selena. Well, dear friends, in this final part of the video, I'm always encouraging you, the viewers, to share your opinions about the four celebrity stalker stories as terrifying as any horror movies, to share your opinion about the woman who tried to shave Hugh Jackman, to share your opinion about the Uber driver who tried to kidnap Kevin Smith's daughter, to share your opinion about the man who thought Sandra Bullock was his wife and also about the fan club president who killed Selena. Sharing your opinion in the comment section will help us create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube. And only <clears throat> this way we can bring your thoughts and opinions to the rest of the world. I thank you very much for that.